So the lesson that we're learning about today is the start of chapter seven, which is all about angles. There are four, five different basic types of angles that you're going to have. The first one talks about acute angles, right? Acute angles are any angle, any angle that is less than 90 degrees, any angle that's less than 90. So 15, 35, 62, all the way up to 89.9. So it's any angle that is less than 90. A picture of an acute angle. A lot of elementary teachers like to go, oh, it's so tiny and cute. All right, these are the little tiny angles. All right, they're less than 90 degrees. The next kind is a right angle. A right angle is equal to 90, not 89.9. Not 90.1, but exactly 90 degrees. A picture of a right angle is like the corner of a piece of paper, right? It's like the corner of the piece of paper right here. And many times, not all the time, but most of the time, you'll see a little box in the corner. Anytime that you see that little box in the corner, that's telling you that for sure it is a 90 degree right angle. Obtuse. Obtuse is any angle that is between 90 and 180. Any angle that's between 90 and 180. Not exactly 90, not exactly 180, but like 90.1 all the way up through 179.9. So it could be 125, 150, 95, anywhere in between 90 and 180. The way that I like to teach to remember how, remember what obtuse is, think of another word that starts with ob, think of obese, right? It starts with O and B still. Obese means big and fat. These are the big fat angles, right? They go, they open up past the 90 and they're the wide open angles, right? They're the big fat angles. A straight angle. A straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. Again, not 179.9, not 180.1, but exactly 180 degrees. A straight angle is just a straight line. A straight angle is just a straight line. Now, the one of these that you might not have heard of before is a reflex angle. A reflex angle is between 180 and 360. It's between 180 and 360. Not exactly 180, not exactly 360, but anywhere in between there. 200, 225, 300, 315, anywhere in between 180 and 360. What a reflex angle looks like is now normally in an obtuse angle, Normally in an obtuse angle, we're measuring this distance in between the angle. Um, with, a, with a reflex angle, you're actually going and measuring all the way around the outside part of the angle. So if we're starting here, we're going up past the 90, still curling around. You get to the 180 where it would be a straight line, and then you go past that 180. So we're measuring that outside part of the angle. So you do need to memorize these. You do need to know what they look like and how many degrees. On your quiz for this, again, you'll have degree measurements like 65 and you'll have to say that it's acute or you'll have 180 and have to say that it's straight. So you do need to know how many degrees are in what type. You also need to know what pictures of them look like. So classifying. All right, classifying what type of angle is what, all right? Um, so if we take a look at this, this is good practice, all right? We have the five different types of angles. So this one, this one opens up past the 90. So this would be obtuse. This one, you see the little picture of the box here. So this would be a right angle. This one is so, oh, it's so tiny and cute. This is an acute angle. This is a straight line, so this would be a straight angle. And this one, notice that we're measuring around the outside part of the angle. So it goes past a straight line, goes around the outside, that would be a reflex angle. A 90 degree angle, 
a 90 degree angle is exactly a right angle. 34 degrees, anything between um, zero and 90, less than 90 is an acute angle. 98 would be considered an obtuse angle. 295 and 300, those would both be reflex angles because they're between 180 and 360. 180 exactly is a straight angle. 65 is an acute angle and 140 would be an obtuse angle. The next thing that you need to know how to do is how to name the angles. That becomes very, very important later on in the chapter, especially. First of all, this is the symbol for angle, all right? Anytime that you see that symbol in front of three letters or in front of like a number, that is the symbol for angle. When naming an angle, the vertex or corner part of the angle, that would be this part, this would be the vertex, which is the corner part of the angle, must be the middle letter. When you name an angle, an angle has three letters. You have to be able to trace the angle with your finger. So if I go and I start here at Q, I can't go to R because Q and R are not connected. I have to be able to trace the angle with my finger. So when I'm naming this angle, um, this angle actually has two names. I'm starting here at the Q, going to the P, and then to the R. So this would be angle Q, P, R. Now, the angle also has another name to it. If I start down here at R and I work my way backwards, R to P to Q. Right? That would be another name of the angle, R, P, Q. Again, you can't connect Q and R because they're not connected. You have to be able to trace it with your finger. Again, that P, this vertex, the corner part of the angle, always has to be the middle letter. All right? That always has to be the middle letter. Notice that in both of our names of our angles, we have that corner part, that P, as the middle letter. Now, sometimes, especially later on in the chapter, you might see a number, like let's say three, inside of the angle. Well, if we had a three inside of the angle, we might also name this angle three, right? When you have a number inside, that's not three degrees, that's angle number three, right? Sometimes you might have just one letter inside of there also, but that's rare. So when we take a look at when we take a look at intersecting lines, when we take a look at intersecting lines, intersecting lines are two lines that cross at a point. We have these two lines crossing each other. They're crossing each other right here at E. This is what's known as an intersection point. Line AC crosses line BD at E, all right? That is the intersection point. Um, if we take a look at some of the angles that are formed here, when two lines cross like this, they form four different angles. You have, first of all, you have this small angle right here in the green, all right? This would be angle A, E, D. A to E to D. Or you could do it the opposite way and go D, E, A. So they form two angles there. Those are both, that is an acute angle. We also have an acute angle on this side. We also have an acute angle on this side. B, E, C. So we could call this angle B, E, C. Or we could call it angle C, E, B. We could work the opposite way as well. Then there's the two angles at the top and at the bottom. We have angle A, E, B. Or if we started the opposite way, B, E, A. That is an obtuse angle. It's the big fat angle. It opens past the 90. We also have this angle down here where we have D, 
E C. So angle D E C, or we can name it the opposite way, starting at C and do C E D. A special kind of intersection is when the two lines cross and they form right angles. These are what's known as perpendicular lines. There are two lines that cross, and when they cross, they form right angles. Notice the box here, all right? Notice the box right here. That's telling you that that is forming a right angle. If two lines cross like this, they're gonna form four right angles. If two lines cross like this, like an upside down T, they're only going to form two right angles. So this is the kind of question that you will have on your quiz, all right? You'll be given a random picture like this. You have to name acute angles, two of them, two different ones. You have to name right angles, two different ones. Name an obtuse angle and name a straight angle. I'm gonna do this one for you and then you'll try the next one on your own. So when I'm looking at the acute angles, all right? When I'm looking at the acute angles here, I'm looking for little tiny angles. Well, I see a little tiny angle right here, C, P, B. So angle C, P, B. Now, could you write that the opposite way as well? Yes, you could write angle B, P, C. For my next one, I have another acute angle right here, D, P, C. So angle D, P, C right there, or CPD. So those are my two acute angles in my picture. Looking for a right angle in the picture. A right angle, notice the little box here in the corner, that tells you that it's a right angle. So when I go to look at this one, I have APD. So angle APD, or you could call it DPA. Now there is another right angle. This one's a little bit harder to see. It doesn't have the box, but you can tell that it is a right angle here in the purple, all right? In the purple, we have D, P, B. So angle D, P, B, or B, P, D. An obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is the big fat angle. Well, where do I see a big fat angle? Sometimes you have to ignore parts and pieces. I'm looking at the big fat angle here in the light blue. All right, there's my big fat angle. So angle A, P, C, or you could call it C, P, A. And then looking at the straight angle, all right, the straight angle is a straight line. That's this gray right here going across the bottom. So that would be A, P, B, or B, P, A. So that's the type of thing that you're going to have to do. If you could try, if you could try this one on your own, please. Try this one on your own. Name one acute angle, name two right angles, name two obtuse angles, and one straight angle. Go ahead and try that on your own, please. Give you about 30 seconds more. So remember your acute angle is your little tiny angle. You should have picked out this angle here in the red. So angle B, C, E. Now, if you said ECB, that's the same exact thing. Looking for the right angle, the right angle has the box in it. You see the box right here, ACD. So angle ACD or DCA. There is a second 
right angle, which is right here, DCB, angle DCB, or you could use BCD. The obtuse angles are the big fat angles. So this one's a little bit tricky, all right? The first one is upside down right here, all right, in the orange. We have A to C to E or ECA. We also have this angle. This angle has one in the middle of it, but that's okay. We we'll just ignore that. D, C, E. So angle D, C, E, or you could say E, C, D. Then we're looking for the straight angle. The straight angle is just the straight line. It goes straight across the middle here, A, C, B, or you could say B, C, A. Now, again, when you name an angle, it has to have three letters in it, three letters in an angle. Go ahead and try these, please. Classify each one as acute, right, obtuse, straight, or reflex. Go ahead and try these, please. So these shouldn't take very long at all. Remember, acute is in between zero and 90. Right is exactly 90. Obtuse is between 90 and 180. Straight is exactly 180. And reflex is between 180 and 360. So 180 degrees, this would be a straight angle. 47 is acute. 90 is right, 300 is reflex, 111 is obtuse, 89.9, it's almost to 90, but not there, that's acute, 181 is reflex, and 140 is obtuse. Last ones, try these five on your own, please. Try these five on your own. Name what type of angle they are. So I is the little tiny angle. This is an acute angle. J, you see the little box right here. That box tells you for sure that it is a right angle. In K, notice we're measuring around the outside part of the angle here. So this is a reflex angle. If we were measuring the inside, then it would be acute. L is the big, wide, open, fat angle. This is the obtuse angle. And letter M is a straight 